What's up guys, welcome back to another uh, one of my videos. Uh, today I want to show you here uh, the powder blue tang. Um, right here in the clip you're watching right now, the tang actually has um, had a little bit of ick. Um, and that was even after quarantining him and uh, had him in the tank for about a week and a half or so. Um, and then he started dropping it. Um, so you could probably tell here in the video that he seems a little, uh, seems like he hasn't eaten. He seems a little thin and you can see, actually see the parasites <clears throat> on him. Um, so this, this was, this was probably about a week and a half ago that this clip was taken. Um, moving into the next clip here, I want to show you, uh, what the tank's looking like now. Um, I'm, I, like I always do guys, I'm just going to look over the corals here. Uh, the rose bubble tip anemone um, and I'm really you know I can't get those clownfish to host it and there you can see uh, my green polyping toadstool and there's my new frog spawn I think I found its happy place there <clears throat> um, it's about four times the size there um, than at night when it's closed up looks really good in, in the middle there you can kind of see the mouth um, and up here you know the zinnias are still still doing their thing not really growing out too much uh, the Kenya trees, though, in the upper left hand, there are, and my polyps are actually taking off like mad. Um, they're budding out like crazy. Um, and there was a little sneak peek of the, the tang. And this is my newest coral here, um, the green-tipped hammer coral. Um, this thing is already—it's been in my tank for about a week now, and it's already splitting uh, a second head. I got it as a single-head frag, and it's already splitting. A uh, second head. And here I'm trying to show you my electric flame scallop. You can see it um, shooting its little, you know, it almost looks like an electricity bolt across the mantle of it. Pretty cool. That, that scallop, uh, that scallop is um, actually survived a lot longer than they were said to survive in a tank. Um, and there I just showed you some uh, green star polyps. I'm hoping they attach that rock. And here I'm showing you after my, uh, after I took the zoa spiders off of the, the little zoanthid colony there. They're actually starting to make a comeback. So pretty excited about that one. Um, you can see there finally that I've got a different, a couple different types of zoanthids on there: the eagle eyes and the uh, radioactive green uh, zoanthids on it. Um, so that's pretty much that's the tank there. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to find that blue tang here. Or I'm sorry, that powder blue. He's looking real good in the tank right now. Um, uh, the, the ick is gone and it's actually ever since I started feeding him the, uh, the Omega-1 garlic marine flake I think it was um, and I'm thinking of doing a, uh, a DIY video on making that overflow box because I've got a couple questions on how I did that and here's that Omega-1 flake food um, it does really good um, it really boosted the immune system with that powder blue tang um, like I said he has no more ick so Look. It's your boy Machine Gun Kelly MGK. Shout to all my party people around the world. You feel me? You already know what I'm doing. I'm living the dream without a dime in my pocket. God damn it. Let's go.